Oh, who's that shady character coming up behind you? Um, it, it is a shady individual. <laughs> shady individual. <laughs> yeah. And he's got a piss like a racehorse. He's got a piss like a racehorse. Excellent. Well, better make sure he has that cloak. What out is of his the way. deal? He's just a shady individual. Look at him! Oh my god. <laughs> So welcome to The Witcher 3, guys. I'm just going to show you my Witcherman. Look at that busty lady. Yeah. Show you my Witcherman, my Geralt. I've been playing Witcher lately, so I figured we'd make a video out of it. Come on, Roach. Come on, Roach. We're going to go and get some uh, Griffin School plans. We're going to go on a little treasure hunt. Come on. And on the way, we're going to have a couple of adventures. Griffin School plans? Yeah, so in this game... There's gear called Witcher gear, uh, and it's gear that you can basically just keep upgrading, and you don't have to just keep getting new armor every time, and it's kind of specialized gear. There's like cat gear, griffin gear, and ursine gear, or Ur ursine, I don't even know how to say that word. But cat gear is like light armor, griffin gear is medium armor, uh, and ursine is heavy, and each one has its own benefits. Oops, wrong spell. Roach did Scared not like that. Yeah, Roach didn't like it. So that I'm just going to do like little map markers on the way to what I'm supposed to do. So we're going to go here. It's a monster nest. We're going to go here. And then we're going to go here and look for our Griffin School gear. Okay. So. Nest needs to be destroyed. Okay, so let's destroy these rot fiends. Ew. Right. Let's see what they blow up when you kill them. <laughs> oh. So you need to get away from them once they're about yeah. to die. Ew. See that one blew up and hurt the other one. Huh. And I just loot basically everything I see. That's how I play. Oh, that's the nest. So you drop a bomb in it. I like how they have nests. They just come out of the ground. Yep. Yeah. And then you run away, it blows up, you get some experience. Where are we? Oh, poison. Poison. Gotta get out of there. Okay. Let's see if there's anything I missed. You only get a little bit of experience for getting rid of the monsters. The monster nests. But there's usually like some sort of treasure or benefit to it. But I was way over leveled, so they probably didn't give me anything. Whoa there. Whoa there, Roach. Okay, we're going over here now. Let's see what it is. The next episode will be a Gwent special spectacular. Yes, which I'm super excited <laughs> about. It's my <laughs> favorite part of this game. Yep. Andrea's barely. I played like five minutes of yeah, this game. She's barely started in the normal game. But I love the Gwent. It has one of those tutorials that kind of drive you crazy. Where it's so slow to start. Oh, guarded treasure this time. It's a wyvern. The tutorial actually wasn't that bad. No, I It wasn't too long. I thought it could have been done better, but... They throw a lot at you at once, but it really wasn't... didn't take all that long. And they give you time to practice, too, which is cool. Yeah, I feel like they should have just let you do that free. Hey, get away from my horse! Yeah. Sure. So, a well, wyvern would be like a draconid, right? Um, uh, kinda. I don't know. The I only know wyverns from Warcraft, right? Don't you get a little? Well, they seem like draconids. So let's use a draconid oil. An exfoliating draconid oil. Exfoliating. If I have one. I don't think I even have one. Ogroid. Ogroid. No, I don't have it, so <laughs> I, n I didn't get a chance to make the um, draconid oil, so I don't get the ba the uh, bonus damage on this guy. Get away from my horse! <laughs> he just wants it. Oh! Oh, no, you don't. No, you won't get him. Maybe. Yeah, Roach is invincible, right? I'm pretty sure he is. He's, Roach is getting right in there, too. He's like. Yeah, he's usually a off, chicken. Buddy. Oh, your sword is fucked. Yeah, my sword's always in a bad condition. I'm lazy. I guess you can swear. You can swear this is an adult game. Okay. Just yeah, this rot seems pretty adult. 
Yeah, if you can handle to look at the rot fiends, you can hear shit and fuck and whatever. Right? Right? They'll say it in the game. This game has it has titties in it. Oh, it does. So. And a lot of throwing up. Oh yeah, lots of throwing no, up and hacking. Of, yeah, lots of hacking and coughing and tuberculosis. Oh man. I almost feel bad. He's so little. I'm a lot stronger than him, too. It's not even a fair fight. He's only got a teeny tiny tail. So, that shield I'm doing, my Witcherman here, Jerry, or Gary, whatever you want to call him. Gary. Uh, he's a red-blue build. And that just means that I level up magic and fighting. So fast attacks, I put everything to fast attacks. And uh, the magic, the Quen spell, which is the shield. So every first hit will, won't do any damage. And then I can also hold the button. And anything that hits me while I'm holding it, that little circular sphere, will just heal me. So it's a high survivability kind of build. So this is my reds and blues. Anyway, and then I also threw that uh, deflecting arrow perk in there. Because it's really annoying to be fighting dudes and they're trying to pot shot you. So I, I can deflect them or I just can just block them. And I went for the survivability route because this game has ridiculously long load times whenever you Let's die. Go. <laughs> And any game that has ridiculously long load times every time you die has no business being difficult. So that's the only reason why I chose survival. Yep, so I basically couldn't make the character I wanted to. I had to be, Sorry. like, logical and sort of save my time. Because otherwise I'd just be sitting on the load screen. Well, you just shaved hours off your life. I shaved hours or and hours. Or added hours to your life. Or, yeah, I could have shaved hours off my life, but if I go all the way through this game, I'm basically adding a million hours to my life. Okay, so you can looks... make that jump, right? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, looks like we'll have to swim across this bridge. Definitely. That sentence doesn't make sense. Yeah. Just swim across this body of water. When you get to the other side, can you like look across at Roach and then call him? Yeah. I want to watch him disappear again. Okay, so Roach is a disappearing demon horse. If you can even see him from that far away. Whoop. Oh, I just fell. Okay. Now you can't see no, him. No, he's gone. Oh, yeah, there he is. I think you can Where just see him. Oh, a little bit. No. M maybe. maybe. It looks know. like a brown bump. Yep. Okay, so I guess the Witcher School Gear is in this little fortress. For the diagrams. I'm not getting the actual gear. I'm getting the diagrams to be able to you make like the little gear. plans to make the gear? Yeah, so you have doing? to go and find it, because it's special gear. So it's like gear that you can use for the whole game, if you want. Like, you just have to keep upgrading it. But it has a set amount of, like, uh, like buffs or whatever. The Griffin one is... Uh, it boosts magic, so that's why I'm wearing it. And also, I could. It was the only one that I found for the moment. Whoop! I'm just gonna try to find a way into this fort. What's the significance of Griffin School? Is it a school for Griffins? It's a. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you got it. No, it's a. It's a Witcher School. So there's Cat School oh. of Witchers. There's. Uh, there's Cat, there's Wolf, there's Ursine, and there's Griffin. Oh, so it's like different styles. Different styles of witching. Yeah, and the only one left is the Wolf School, which is the one that Jerry's from. <laughs> What's that? A harpy. Okay. You can probably take it. It's level 7. Oh, uh, there's a bunch of harpies. That's a lot of harpies. Oh, boy. <laughs> That sounds like when a bunch of girls get together in a club <laughs> and they haven't seen each other. Haven't seen each other in a while. Oh, yep. You look so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm probably a little over leveled for this. 
Whoa! <laughs> yeah, maybe a little over level. Okay, so let's loot these harpies. So that's a harpy nest. Oh, there's another the harpy one. harpy nest. I can probably destroy it once I find and kill this harpy. Let's stab at nothing first. Definitely. See, that's what Quen's, that's what Quen's really great for, is you can just kind of suck at the game like me. And, <laughs> and just, just get away with it. It's got your back. And it's just got your back. So let's blow this up. That's the sound that the bomb makes when you drop it in. Okay. Whoa, watch your holes. <laughs> Good advice to any young lady. So wow. we're going into this little area. It's not dark enough to use the cat potion yet. Cat potion lets you see in the dark. Can I walk through this? Yeah. Oh, deceiving. It was just cobwebs. So this glowing thing here is either treasure or a way to open. It's no, a it, it looks like it's what I'm after. Quest items. That was some weird language. Let's see what that is. What did I get? What's this? Fuck this. So this is a relic and it's heavy armor. It gives you a lot of vitality, but it's not quite better than my Griffin gear, which gives me more sign intensity and I go all I'm all about the signs, you know. Mahakaman. 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 Mahakachakataka. <laughs> survivor man pants. Nice little survivor man reference there for you. Okay, so let's read that thing. The book is burned and only a few pages are still intact. Evis. Okay, that's, um... Is that looks like... Lin probably Lin Elvish. Lin Can't read Elvish, so... Maybe Gary... Mary, maybe Gary can, so let's see if he learned anything from that. Going to the quest log, let's see. Geralt came across evidence of the legendary witcher George's equally legendary equipment. Having heard many tales... Jerry desired, decided to investigate, so no, it didn't help me at all. And maybe it added a quest that I just didn't notice. I did say it was a quest item. Okay, so it added, it probably added a quest for later. What? Oh, another wyvern that? in there. Oh. Okay, so let's save, just in case he's stronger than the other one. They do come in their own brands. And also, maybe there's a way to open that thing? What do you think? Left or right? In um, here or over there? Left. Oh, so I immediately go the other way. Yep. What? Lost your nerve. So that just led me out of the place. satisfying to fight because they pop, like they do that little blood spurt, the green blood. You gotta have green blood if you're a bug. Are they bugs? Oh yeah, I guess they are bugs. See how they can't really even touch me? They probably taste delicious though. You think they might? They might taste like crap. <laughs> you went from delicious to crap. No, crab. Oh, crab. Yeah. Yeah, maybe if they were oceanic. Where did I come out? Oh, around there. Was that like this? Oh, here right we go. There. Yeah. So I gotta find these things. Do I have to learn Elvish? Maybe. It looks like Old English. Middle English. Well, let's get some light in here. Maybe that'll help. I know you can light. Torches. Come on. Come on, Geralt. Do your G trick. Gary. Gary. Yeah, I don't know. Well, eat a bunch of mushrooms while I wait. 
So I came in over this way. Yeah, and I walked through here. Maybe it's up instead. Maybe I'm along. Maybe I was on the right track. And you're supposed to walk in the front door instead of going up the back ladder. Oh, yeah. So here we go. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. Treasure. Witcher George's confession. Scandalous. There we go. Good job. Boom. Boom. There you go. Let's take a look. Oh, Griffin Steel Sword. Let's read George's confession. That's more damage, but I lose all my bonuses. The digger. <laughs> the digger. The well, digger. Are you digging? You digging? Digging. Witcher George. So. I, the undersigned George of Kagan, which by trade testify as follows. While well, traveling through. Oh, God, it's so long. Mm -hmm. The game is very heavily story driven. So when it's not a cutscene, you're probably reading. And if you're not reading, you're probably mashing square and killing things. <laughs> or riding a horse. Uh, so he's traveling through Velen. He received a summons to provide a professional testimony in the matter of the cursed name. This guy stands accursed of causing several shipwrecks. Um, because it's probably because he's slacking off. Smashed against the rocks on the shore, a bunch of boats sank, and he's held responsible for the state of the affairs. And during the trial, he testified uh, accidents. He said that the accidents were caused by night wraiths and deceiving the sailors with false glow. So he investigated the area and he testified that he found no traces of night wraith activity uh, and no noon wraiths, uh, May Munes. Aaron nymphs or any other kind of misleading weary travelers blah 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 he find that found that the catastrophe's true cause not the fault of the night wraiths blamed by the accused but neither were they the fault of the lighthouse keeper either so the accidents were caused by local hooligans who have taken to lighting fires on the hill at night and then robbing the ships that wreck upon the shore awesome fucking kids so I was put on their trail and showed me the ashes from their misleading fires. So his testimony shows that the lighthouse keeper isn't guilty of those crimes of fucking up his job and he where he stands acute and he should be freed. And he also humbly asks for the bailiff to put the lighthouse keeper and his family under his protection for in light of the revelations, his son led him to discover there will surely be certain parties with cause for vengeance and he cannot undertake the task of protecting the family himself for he has accepted a contract to kill a dragon. He's got to go kill the dragon. Uh, it's uh, to be looking near the Crookback Hills. And so he has to return there post haste to kill the beast and complete his task. Question. Yes. Who cares? Uh, people who like the Witcher lore and okay. the story. Witcher lore. I'll oh. read this later. <laughs> so... And I mean, also, it also tells you... Well, Gary cares, too, because he's following uh, George's footsteps... Okay. ...to find his notes, because George was in uh, the Griffin School gear, so he would ha he has those documents that, okay. that Gary wants. Okay. Let's see this sword, if I can. Um... No? It was, it was like, it was plans for a sword, wasn't it? Yeah, so I can see the, what it will be like, though. Cool. What's it? It was a steel sword. Griffin steel sword. Ooh, mm -hmm. I can even, I even have everything. So okay. you, you need some leather and some metal and a brain, a monster brain. Awesome. And a monster eye. And it is a little better That's than what cool. I'm using. Awesome. So I'm going to be getting that you got a lot of brains on hand yeah I do I always I try to keep like 10 of everything yeah and sell anything that goes over that cool so that's the end of this episode that's the witcher that's my witcherman if you want to look at my stats again there's a couple people who like that kind of thing ooh stats ooh yeah ooh, stats yeah <laughs>
You can pause there if it's something you like. There you go. I'm just going to repair my sword. And we'll see you next time for the Gwent special. Gwent special! <laughs>